Um, over the last few lessons, we've been talking about how to find the area and perimeter of a uh, rectangle. Oh, or actually, this can work with squares too. Uh, so let's say first we want to look at this rectangle. We have our length right here, with, I'm sorry, our width, which is one and two thirds meters, and our length right here, which is two and one fourth meters. So let's start off with perimeter. Perimeter is your two lengths plus your two widths. Now, usually they're only going to give you one. They're going to give you one length and one, I'm sorry, one width, one length. So you have to end up doubling whatever that is. So we think about this and we like to be smart with it. So first we think about this size here. So we know if this one is going to be one and two thirds, we know the bottom is also going to be one and two thirds. So I'm going to add that together. One and two thirds plus one and two thirds gives me two and four thirds. Now that's improper two and four thirds. So we know three goes into four one time, so we're going to bring that over, and we'll have one left over. So our new fraction, our mixed number, is three and one third. Next, we have two and one fourth plus two and one fourth. We add those two sides, two plus two is four, and then we know one fourth plus one fourth is two fourths. Once again, we see over here our fraction two fourths can be reduced to one half. So we're going to change it to four and one half. All right. So in their notes, they have the first step is to find out what all the sides equal. Okay, what all the sides are. Second, we're going to add. So now that we found out what our sides are, we're going to add these two together. Uh oh. Well, we notice here that three and two are different denominators. So since we have different denominators, we have to change them based uh, to find out which multiple these two have in common. Okay? So two, three and two. Well, I'm gonna do it the long way just so you can see it. We come over to the side, we write three and two, and we write down their multiples. Two, four, six, eight, 10. We go over here, three, six. Oh, we can see they have six in common. So we're gonna use six as their LCM, least common multiple. So I'm going to rewrite this problem now. Three and something over six. All right, and over here, I'm going to have four and something over six. Three times two gives me six, so I want to do times two up here, which gives me two. Two times three gives me six, so one times three gives me three. Now that they're the same denominator, we can add. So we have 2, 6 plus 3, 6, which is 5, 6. We have 3 plus 4, which is 7. Last but not, uh, sorry, next to last, we want to make sure we look for our metric unit, okay? Uh, so our unit here is meters, so we're going to write that down, okay? Uh, you also want to check, just in case, if you can do any uh, simplifying here, do that, or if you can do any reducing there, make sure you check out for that. All right, now I'm going to area. We're gonna use the same one. All right, area is length times width. So it's multiplication here. So this time we don't have to find all four. So as long as we have our length and our width, we're good. So my length, is two and one fourth, and my width is one and two thirds. I cannot do it like this, so I have to actually change it from a mixed number to an improper fraction. So to change it from mixed number to improper fraction, we go two times our whole number, sorry, whole number times our denominator, and we're going to add that to our numerator. So in this case, our whole number is two. 2 times 4 gives us 8, and then we're going to add that 8 to our numerator. 8 plus 1 gives us 9. So this is 9 fourths. Same thing over here. We're going to do our whole number, which is 1 times 3. That gives us 3. 3 plus 2 gives us 5. So it's now 5 thirds. 
All right, so the first step is to uh, make sure you change these into those mixed numbers, uh, those mixed numbers into improper fractions. After we do that, we are going to look for cross division. Can anything go into nine and three div uh, divisible? All right, yes. Three can divide nine. Three can also divide three. So nine divided by three is three. Eight, uh, three divided by three is one. This is a way to simplify before we get to the end of our problem. We're gonna do the same thing over here, five and four. Well, nothing can go into five and four besides one, and that was keep it the same. So there's no need of doing that. Um, but you can still circle it and just write five and four. So now we're going to multiply. Three times five, this is 15. One times four, I'm sorry, four times one gets us four. And now we see our answer is top heavy. You have 15 fourths. So what we're going to do is we're going to take 15 fourths, and I'm going to erase this for now. And we have to divide. We have to figure out how many times can four go into 15. So we know four cannot go into one, but four can go into 15 three times, which gives us 12. And we have three left over. So we're gonna write three as uh, our remainder of three as our numerator and our divisor, which is four, as our denominator. Last but not least, you wanna make sure you put your label. Our label here is still meters, so put our M, but it's squares since we're doing uh, area, because you have a meter times a meter. So you get square meters or meters squared. All right, if you have any questions, send me an email and I'll definitely be able to help you.